Hi, I'm Jean and I'm coming to you today to talk about picking fabrics and colors for my ColorWorks table runner. And this, I wrote the pattern when I first learned how to cut without rulers and piece those lines and thought the perfect um, practice would be to do a table runner. So this was the very first one I made and it was the fall season and I ended up using colors that I felt were kind of fallish, but you notice there's some blue sky in here too. And there's um, your typical, you know, kind of leaf colors that you see uh, along with greens. And every once in a while, I interrupted the piecing and added a little um, square here and there just to make it more interesting. Then the next one I worked on was this one. And I started out, I really wanted it to be mostly blues and greens um, with this kind of uh, acid green, kind of yellowish color as an accent, and it wasn't quite enough. So I ended up adding this magenta, and I feel like this magenta just made it sing. Um, you never know what it's going to be, and we have a tendency to get somewhat matchy-matchy when we think about color. So maybe you want to even begin with a photograph, a color photograph uh, that you really like to help you. Now the third one I made, it was December, and I'd gotten all of my Christmas stuff out and realized I didn't have a table runner. So I made a really long runner that would go the whole length of my table when I had the leaves in. And it's actually been used several years, so there's a little bit of candle wax on here. But I added this blue-green along with all of the different greens. I didn't want to just have Christmas red and green. And I wanted it to read green, and then I figured I could use red accents on the table. Um, and boy, you can see how the red and the turquoise really work in this area. I thought that one turned out really nice. Now, um, I'm working on some ideas um, for winter. So I went to the blues and I wanted to add print in. So I found this print that I just love because it has a variety of blues. There's a typical indigo blue, um, kind of medium blue. There's a little turquoise. So you can see my palette here that I've picked. And for an accent, I wanted to have this gold color. And there was this fabric that has actually a little um, metallic on it, but it's working out just fine in my piecing. And you can see I have some aqua. Um, and I do like to create a little interest in the strips. So here's one strip where I pieced uh, some scraps together. And let's look up here at, on the wall, because as I start piecing, I started right out with my theme. And then, you know, just added another dark. So I have kind of a band of dark, then a little bit of light, then went back into the dark, a little bit of the accent. And see how this is narrower than this. So I'm changing up the width of the strips, too. Um, and I, I really like this uh, softer blue in here. And then the blue-green, I think, warms up the winter mood a bit. Um, otherwise, if I was just doing you know, blue and white, it would be pretty cool. Now, I do have, I'm just going to hold this up. This is a quilt that I made um, using this same sort of technique just out of black and white. Val had a new line of fabric that came out that I just love. And so I just worked with that. And this definitely is cool and winter feeling. Now this last little one, 
um, is another experiment for me into fall. I fell in love with this print and this print and this. And I thought, golly, I could use those with a lot of solids and create a fall feeling. So I've just got this one started. Um, and what I do when I start, I try to inter start introducing as many pieces as I can. Then I think, how am I going to repeat them? So from here, here it is repeated again and again, but in different widths. And this time, it's next to a just lighter version of itself. So you really learn about color with this runner, too. And um, I love teaching the class in it, which um, we do have a class coming up this fall. And I hope that helps you out in choosing your fabrics.